Hello guys, today I will solve the question count and see. The question number is 38 and the question statement is the count and see sequence is a sequence of digit string defined by the recursive formula. The question statement is very confusing so I will explain you with the example. You will understand better. Okay, so I want to explain you first this thing, these two points, what is this one? So, count and say of 1 is 1. You can remember this. Count and say of 1 is 1. Now, for the another digit like n or n minus 1, first understand this one. If there is a there is a digit like 3, 3, 2, 2, 2, 5, 1 and we can write like this, right? See, how many times 3 are here? 2 times. 2 times 3. Now, how many times 2's two, are here? 3 times 2's right uh, 1 times 5 5 and 1 times 1 right so we can write 2 3 because it is 2 times uh, 3 is 2 times right now 2 is 3 times here sorry here 3 is 2 times 2 is 3 times 5 is 1 time 1 is 1 time so we can write if we will concatenate all these we will get 2 3 3 2 1 5 1 1 okay now what is the second point that is count and say of n uh, let me raise this one first if we need to find count and say of n here it is written if we need to find the count and say of n if if this value if this value is count and say of n minus 1 then this will be the value of count and say of n so for this we need to get the n minus 1 count and say of n minus 1 and for the count and say of n minus 1 we'll have to find the count and say of n minus 2 like this we will get till when n minus it this value will be 1 right for that we will we'll have 1 we know count and say of 1 is 1 right so like this content c of 2 what will be the content c of 2 now i will explain you all this with this example it is not example it is content c of 1 to 9 so what i explain you content c of n is the content c of n minus 1 when we will write n min content c of n minus 1 in in this form like by counting the number of digits in that uh, in that letter in that string of digits we can get the content say of n right so now start from the one we know content say of one is one right so what will be the content say of two we'll check for the content say of n minus one now n is about two right n is about two so content say of and n is 2 right n minus 1 is 1 so we will check for this one so how many times 1 is, one is here 1 time so 1 1 now for content c of 3 we will check for 2 right we will check for 2 2 times 1 2 times 1 right here it is written 2 times 1 now n equal to 4 now we will check for n minus 1 that is 3 here 1 times 2 1 times 2 1 times 2 and 1 time 1 time 1 so we will write this now if we have n equal to 5 we will check for the n minus 1 that is 4 1 times 2 1 times 1 1 times 2 1 1 1 2 and 2 times 1 here 2 times 1 right 2 times 1 so we can find the content say of any digit or integer like this they will give us an uh, integer like here they will give us n equal to 4 they gave us and we have returned 1 2 1 1 how for the content say of 1 1 content say of 2 is 1 1 because 1 time 1 content say of 3 is 2 times 1 because here 2 times 1 is here 
and in n minus 1 for the content say of n equal to 4 we will check for content say of 3 here 1 times 2 and 1 times 1 so we have got 1 2 1 1 ok now we have understood that what we need to do we need to check the occurrence of digits in the n minus 1 content say of n minus 1 so we are doing same thing again and again so we can use recursion right so we will start from the n equal to 1 and we will go till n equal to n right so we can find our answer like this in each uh, in each time we will in each function call we will what we will do we will count the number of each digits and we will return the answer so it is our code now i am explaining you explaining you with the example content say of 4 say n equal to 4 answer will be 1 2 1 1 so first why it is here string previous is 1 because when we will start um, there will be no value no previous value for n equal to 1 we are assuming it is already given that is 1 we know that content say of 1 is 1 so we are giving in the start so now if n equal to 1 return previous if n is equal to 1 we are getting 1 we will return the 1 because the content say of 1 is 1 and this is also the base case when when we will go uh, we will call n minus 1 and again n minus 1 because it is recursion right so in the last we will get one time we will get 1 at that time our answer will be the this one so now i'm explaining you so first our n is 4 right here yeah, 4 n is 4 now n is not equal to 1 so this is this will be neglected right now uh, forget this one right now why we have written this so it is the current string for storing the values of uh, the occurrence of digits it is it is vacant right now now i is less than length here length is the size of the previous string because we will check for the previous string this one for the, right now for the n equal to 2 we will check for the n equal to 1 right the length of the previous string and we will we will iterate on each value for the counting like if it is 1 to 1 1 we will iterate on each integers to count the number of occurrence of each digit like first we will go on 1 we will check whether this one is 1 or not if it is not 1 we will simply return 1 1 now we will go on 2 we will check whether it is 2 or not if it is not 2 this is not 2 we will return 1 2 now we will go for again on this number it is 1 now again this is 1 right so we will return 2 1 because 2 times 1 is here right so we will have we need to two variable because first one will be the one which will count we will go on each number like we have stored one now we will check whether it is equal to this one or not it is equal so we will now go on this two right one two one one now we will go on two we will check whether it is equal or not it is not equal so we will return one one like for this example n equal to four i will explain you the codes that is one two one one i have explained you this one is this line number four now line number five right now uh, forget this one forget this line line number six is for the storing the answer value for the n equal to five we will check for the n equal to four that is n minus one of n equal to five right now i will start from the first one and it will iterate on each values of this string of integers right so i will be 0 and j will be also the 0 because j equal to i now here both will be here now it will check whether the previous the value this i and j is the same or not i and j both are same right now both are 0 right i and j i and j 
so it is equal now i will be plus plus one so i will be here two now it will check with same whether it is same or not now i is one right because i plus plus one now whether these two values is same or not no it is not same so now it will return in the string current string what will it return one one because i minus j j is zero uh, one minus zero is one and the value of j is one so one one right now again j will be one because while for the while while loop start from the line number eight j will be the i so now j will be one now again it will check whether it is equal or not yes both values is equal because it is two only now i will be plus plus one that is two now it will check whether this one this one and this two is equal or not not equal so again it will return the j minus one that is two minus one i minus j two minus one is one the value of j here it is two so two right now now it will go on this one i will be plus plus one that is here two now it will check j will be two because uh, while loop start from the start line number eight now it will check whether it is equal yes it is equal now i will be plus plus one that is three whether this one and this one is equal yes both are equal now i will be plus plus one that is four now this condition i is less than length length is the length of this string that is four right four so i will use i is starting from zero that is i is now not less than length right because it is equal so now our it will return that is i minus j that is two and the value of this one so it will return this so it is the explanation of the code let's run the code thank you it's running